Uh, good morning. Today we will speak about the, the new uh, global uh, guidelines for candida with a particular regards to chronic disseminated candidiasis. Uh, as you know, candidemia, uh, bloodstream infection are more frequently reported uh, as the most important clinical manifestation. On the contrary, an organ involvement uh, so a chronic disseminated candidiasis is uh, rare and is characterized from the infiltration of uh, deep organs. Uh, uh, usually chronic disseminated candidiasis uh, is frequently observed in patients with hematological malignancy uh, uh, after a chemotherapy, so after a prolonged intense, uh, intense uh, neutropenia, or in patients that underwent to an hemopoietic stem cell transplantation. Usually the uh, disseminated infection is characterized by, by focal localization to the uh, liver, spleen, and rarely to the kidney. And uh, usually uh, we can observe uh, this uh, clinical manifestation not uh, during uh, the, the aplasia, but when uh, the neutrophil rises after the treatment of uh, chemotherapy. Uh, and the mechanism is uh, clear, uh, uh, usually uh, is a consequence of a candidemia uh, uh, and uh, with an in in, in infiltration of the portal vein and the dissemination to the uh, abdominal organs. Uh, uh, in the past, uh, it was quite difficult to arrive to a diagnosis uh, uh, because uh, the microbiological uh, tests are very uh, uh, insufficient in the past, of course. And we based the diagnosis on the, the, the characteristics of uh, the uh, as a fever unresponsive to, chemo, uh, to the antibiotics and uh, treatment. Uh, to the uh, abdominal and uh, pain or tenderness, or the presence of diarrhea, vomiting, vomiting uh, and uh, of course hepatomegaly and splenomegaly. Uh, as I said, you uh, in the laboratory uh, was uh, if you don't identify the previous uh, candidemia is uh, quite complicated, and uh, uh, some uh, uh, serum liver parameters can help us as an increase mainly of alkaline phosphatase, um, but also an increase, a marked increase of platelets is, uh, is important in order to arrive a correct uh, uh, suspect. Uh, in the 2002, the uh, ORTC uh, MSG uh, cooperative uh, group uh, gave some definition and based uh, the, uh, the diagnosis of uh, this kind of manifestation mainly on uh, radiological pictures as uh, uh, ultrasound uh, uh, that uh, show uh, as uh, the classical bal AS lesion or uh, uh, by CT scan. And uh, in the first uh, definition, uh, the uh, microbiological area are not required. Here I show you some, some pictures that I observed in my patients uh, where uh, in the app uh, you can see the ult abdominal ultrasound with the typical bal A lesions. But also a CT scan uh, uh, evident, uh, give the evidence of a multiple uh, lesions in the liver. Uh, but uh, the, uh, the, the use of uh, histopathological uh, help not always is easy because you, uh, usually we can perform it only when the patient recovery from neutropenia and it is difficult to observe uh, uh, fungi in the lesion. On the contrary, we can observe uh, uh, granulation tissue that uh, can help uh, to suspect but not for a correct uh, diagnosis of fungi. Uh, uh, as a consequence, uh, this uh, study that we performed uh, between uh, 19 to 2000 uh, uh, demonstrated among the 29 episodes of uh, 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 chronic disseminated candidiasis uh, that only in nine cases we, are, uh, we have a previous candidemia. So uh, in the majority of the cases is a probable localization. And as you can uh, see on the uh, left of the, the slide, in the, in the majority of cases was a candida albicans. 
but in 2008, uh, 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 a revision of the, uh, the, uh, the uh, definition uh, stated that near the use of ultrasound or CT scan is necessarily an episode of candidemia in the, pre in the previous two weeks uh, before the diagnosis. And uh, as a consequence, when we performed a study uh, uh, in, uh, in between 0 to 13, uh, among a large number of centers, only 20 cases were observed. And the main point it was that uh, the number of the, uh, of the infection was due above all to candida non albicans. Uh, probably uh, an explanation could be that uh, thanks uh, to the, uh, the prophylaxis, not only with uh, the very strict criteria, uh, cause uh, this low number of uh, the uh, patients that have this kind of complication. More recently, uh, in a, in a, a further revision uh, suggests also in the, the last uh, uh, lines that uh, uh, the micro uh, mycological evidence needs also of a bit uh, better glucan that could be useful if uh, is positive in two consecutive serum samples that can help us to arrive to a, a correct diagnosis. But now speak about uh, these global guidelines that are really important. Uh, as you can see, a large number of uh, researchers participated to uh, these uh, guidelines, uh, more than 200 of a page, with more than uh, 1,000 of references. So a very comprehensive uh, revision of literature uh, help us to arrive to, a, 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 to a, a correct diagnosis and then to a correct treatment. Regarding the diagnosis, as you see, blood culture, beta-glucan, phosphatase ultrasound, and also MRI uh, favor a correct suspect in the diagnosis of this kind of a complication. On the contrary, CT scan is less relevant as well as liver bi biopsy, as I said you before, can help us to arrive uh, to the uh, diagnosis. Here are some pictures that are reported in, in this guideline that are quite similar to that we observed previously. Regarding the treatment, uh, uh, that is uh, for all patients, not only for hematological patients, uh, we have uh, a well-defined treatment that identify in caspofungin as the main uh, drugs for the treatment of uh, this, uh, this complication uh, and uh, as alternative uh, liposomal amphotericin B, but at dosage higher than we usually use. Uh, 5 mg per kilogram. All other drugs are less relevant for the treatment of uh, this kind of, uh, of CDC. And uh, important, uh, as you can see, that uh, all the patients must be treated for at least six months in order to reduce the risk of a relapse or, uh, or, or uh, uh, a not correct uh, uh, treatment of this kind of patients. Regarding uh, the, uh, the, the, the treatment for control of the symptoms of this, uh, this, uh, this, this, uh, this, uh, this uh, disease, as you can see, corticosteroids are represented the most important choice that we have, uh, but with a moderate uh, indication. In case of uh, a refractory or resistance to the, uh, the, uh, the, fr the first line treatment, you have uh, two options at your disposition. First of all, an increase of caspofungin from 15 mg to 100 mg to uh, and uh, in alternative, uh, you can use a combination treatment with liposomal amphotericin and caspofungin. In this slide are summarized all uh, the, uh, the guidelines in green, those that are considered the, the, the best choice, in yellow the, the possible alternative and also regarding the adjunctive treatment, and in red those for drugs that are not effective, mainly all the diazoles uh, uh, are not indicated for the frontline treatment of this kind of, of uh, patients. Uh, where there is uh, no the availability of uh, candles, uh, of course, uh, the first line must be liposomal amphotericin B, uh, and in alternative, uh, can we, uh, we can use a fluconazole. Uh, uh, always uh, six months is uh, the, uh, the, the, time, the time at your disposition. On the contrary, all, uh, 
where there is no available uh, liposome amphotericin B, uh, caspofungin is uh, the, the best choice, of course. Uh, uh, as a consequence, uh, uh, fluconazole is uh, the only real alternative for this kind of infection. Of course, we must always take into account uh, where there is a, a, a non-albicans, uh, some strains are not uh, sensible to the uh, activity of a fluconazole. Uh, uh, in, in the end, I, we can say that this kind of, of indication help us uh, not only for uh, uh, studies, but above all for the real life uh, activity. Thank you.